Hello, my name is Connor. I'm the developer of Mars Flight VR, a VR helicopter simulator set in real locations on Mars. In this video I'm exploring Jezero Crater, the landing site for the 2020 NASA Mars rover mission. You can see the rover here examining a rock. The rover should land in the flat terrain here and then head towards the west. You can see its planned path marked by this green dotted line. This flat plain we're flying over is actually an ancient lake bed. Four billion years ago this was all underwater. The hills in the distance are the remains of a river delta. The river entered the crater from the west, and as the water slowed down it dropped any sediment it was carrying to form a raised area on the edge of the crater. If life ever existed on Mars it was probably in liquid water so this will be a good place to search for fossils. This scenery is derived from data provided by the high-rise instrument aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. As the satellite orbits Mars, the high-rise camera photographs a long, thin strip of landscape, and then it photographs the same area from another angle. And by looking at the parallax differences in these two images, a 3D model of the scene can be formed. So this scenery you see around here is very accurate. The colors are procedurally generated based on reference photos, and the rocks and boulders are placed randomly just to add some detail and realism. But the shape and scale of the landscape is exactly as it exists on Mars. I'm going to head north to explore more of the river delta. The rover won't be able to go this way because the terrain is too rough, but the helicopter might explore some of this area if it survives long enough. This helicopter is the JPL Mars Helicopter Scout, which will accompany the rover. It's designed to fly in Mars's thin atmosphere. Here you can see a test in a vacuum chamber on Earth, simulating Martian conditions. The helicopter has thick rotor blades which need to spin very quickly to provide enough lift. If I pause the game, you can see the rotors. Here are the controls. I'm flying with an Xbox controller, but the game will also support flight sticks. There are lots of options to customize the controls, and there's an easy mode for beginners. The game has a first-person view, although if you're new to VR you might want to avoid this view because it's locked to the helicopter, which means that when the aircraft tilts, the virtual camera also tilts. This can be very disorienting, and if you get VR motion sickness, then this is likely to trigger it. However, if you're comfortable in VR, this view is very immersive and entertaining. I think fans of first-person drone racing are going to enjoy flying like this. I'll switch back to the external view. You can see in this view the camera is nice and stable, even when the aircraft tilts. Mars Flight VR will be available on Steam Early Access shortly. I'm planning to have science missions, races with leaderboards, more vehicles to fly and lots of locations to explore. You can click on the link in the video description to add the game to your Steam wishlist, and you'll get a notification when it's released. Thank you for watching.